Hi guys, it's me DSP and today I'll be trying paint pouring for the first time. So now we're gonna go ahead and start. And to start off, we'll be going to Michael's to get the supplies and then we'll make the paint pour. So we're at the canvas section and I think I'm gonna do eight by 10. I saw a video of someone trying it out. I'll link that down below and she used eight by 10. So I think two's not enough. So we're probably gonna get two sets of two to have four canvas. All right guys, so we're now in the paint section. So we're gonna get the big tube of white because he said he needs a lot of white. So we're gonna get that. And then you just get like a couple tubes of the colors we need. I'll show a picture that I wanna kind of follow that design. So there's some blue and green. So I think we're gonna kind of pick out a couple colors of that to match that design. All right guys, so here's the colors we got. So we got white, we got this green. I'll show you guys the colors. It's just called green. Sorry about the background noise. We got pistachio. We, sorry about that. Camin and blue. Then we got true blue. And then finally we got turquoise. So these are the colors we're gonna use for the paintings. All right guys, so we're back from Michael's and here you can see all my supplies. I do have some extra supplies like glue that's right behind the canvases. And then we also have some water um, right aside. And I have some popsicle sticks. And then I think that's all the extra ingredients that we have. You just need those to thin down the paint because when you move it around, the paint's kind of thick and you want it to kind of run. So, so we have canvases, we have glue, we have this gloss to like seal it. We have our disposable cups for the paint. Popsicle sticks, we have this, I don't know, now we need, I don't know, it's like this hair product. We have some white paint and we have different colored paint. And that's all we have, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so here I see we have all of our cups. They're actually hard to remove. So in one of the cups, I have just some water. There's no measurement because I'm gonna like, use this to pour into the cups. We have our glue and then our paint, our coconut oil or whatever, and our popsicle sticks. So to start off, we're gonna do um, our paint. So um, I'm kind of following like a picture that I saw online. I'm not obviously not gonna follow it exact, but as you can see right there, you can see a picture of what I'm trying to somewhat follow. So I'll be, I, so I picked out those colors. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and put some paint in. I don't really know how much paint to put, but we're gonna put just a little bit in. These colors are so cool, guys. All right, so I'm gonna put, well, I don't know, I think that's good. So now, I'm gonna close the paint up. So if we can kind of just repeat this process for each one. So like, you just do like, put a blob of each paint in for each. All right guys, so I have all of the paints into the cup. We have the white, the turquoise, and we have all the other colors. I like kind of like the theme of the, the bluish, greenish turquoise. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add some of the coconut milk stuff. So I'm not sure. The cap obviously fell off. Oh, there we go. So we can just kind of open this up. And I think we just add like a little bit to each. So I feel like, let me put my cap aside and I can kind of just pour it in. So this first top is. All right guys, so since that is done now, we're gonna add in some water into each. And this is just to make it more runny. So instead of the water, so I'm actually gonna add water and glue. And instead of water and glue, what you can actually just do is you can buy this pouring medium. They might wonder why didn't you get it? We just didn't get it because it was so expensive. It was like the bottle the size of this for $16. And if you just have glue and water, so water is basically like free, like the, the tap water, obviously. And then glue, I have three gallons of it, so it's basically free for me. So I'm like, what's the point? I've spent $16 on it. And I basically have it at home. So that's why we chose to do it this way. All right, guys, so here is the glue. So now we're gonna add like the same amount of glue as water. And the glue makes it thicker, so like, so with the water and the um, glue, it's just like the perfect consistency for the paint. All right, so I just finished the last one. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a popsicle stick and we're gonna mix each one together. So I'll show you for the first one. I'm sorry if you can't see it that well, but you just mix it up. All right, guys, so I finished mixing all the colors so we have See the blue, the white, we like the greenish, and then the blue, and then I have the extra glue. I added a bit more water to them. So as you can see, they're really runny. I'll show you the white one. 
It's super runny, not that you want. So I added actually more water to empty the water cup out because we did pour all these colors into here. All right, guys, so I have my canvas ready just on two deli containers. So I think I'm gonna stand up for this. So now what I'm gonna do is take the colors and pour it into this cup here. So first we're gonna pour the... All right, guys, so it just cut off. Sorry about that. So we have some white of white paint in there. Now I'm gonna pour in some of the blue paint. All right. So now once we have it all, this is when the messy part is. So we're gonna rearrange the camera and then we're gonna go ahead and pour. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour. So we're gonna take the cup and kind of split it here. I'm gonna flip it and kind of center it, I would say. Now we're gonna move these two together. And then we're gonna flip this. So three, two, one. I'm gonna place it down. Now I'm gonna remove this. That's so cool, guys. You can see all the cells starting to form. So now I'm gonna kinda slowly move that around. Here we go, kinda move it back a little bit. And it's gonna run off the corner, that's what you want. So obviously you can see it's gonna be super messy. So let it run right off the corners there. And they say it's kinda hard for like the, um, the edges to get um, colored, so I'll have to get like a little, I'll just use my finger or a popsicle stick to do that. But this looks so cool, guys. I move my finger, just get right up to the corner there. Or just do kind of a corner at a time. Try to get this corner. There we go, and then now, I'm gonna get the last corner. Let me see if there's any more. All right, so now I'm gonna get the last corner. It's like watching paint trip move so slow. All right, I can see the paint slowly moving there. It just it takes some time to build up so it does move. Now you can see the paint starting to rise. I thought it was just me completely white, but it's really not. So I'm gonna let that set. And I'm gonna sit down and kind of just get my finger and kind of get the corners. So, yeah, just make sure I get all of the corners to kind of turn it. See, okay. I kind of want to get this side. But oh my gosh, guys, I did not think it's gonna turn out this good. And this is my first try ever doing this type of thing. I did watch a lot of videos, and I do have a video, like I said, when I was at Michael's that I watched. I will link that down below, but I'm so surprised how well this turned out. But, oh my gosh, this is so messy. That's falling. There we go. Okay, I think, yeah. Just wanna make sure we got all of the corners. Yeah, okay. So we got every corner, so that is the first one. That turned out so cool. So now I want to go ahead and prepare for the second canvas. All right guys, so the first one turned out so cool. I'm so proud of it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one. So I feel like we're just gonna have enough paint. I'm not gonna do as much white just because I feel like we had a little bit too much white first in the first round. So guys, so this is the one we just did. I don't know why it just cut off, which is super weird. So that, that was our first one. Then our second one, I think it turned out so good. We did less white, cause I feel like it looks better. So we have that, so we have that one. And then now I'm gonna make more paints because we don't have enough. All right guys, so we have, this is our third one now. You guys will be seeing this for your second painting. So we're gonna go ahead and start. We'll start off with some of the white paint. So now we are ready, we have all of our paint ready. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and obviously do it. And put our, make sure it's ready. Got these two, so I'm gonna use a little bit forward so I have some space to work. So three, two, one. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down, pull up. 
awesome as the drops go. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely more runnier, which is good. Let it run off to the sides. There and out other side. Now final side. Okay. I think it's definitely more blue, so I'm gonna add some of the green in. The green might rise up, but I might as well just like put some in if I want. And then I can kind of just move it around. So I'll put some of that in. And then maybe some other. Um, like yellow, and then what I can do is just move it around and kind of like push it off and kind of blend it together because it is so runny. And then I'll pour that off and we'll push it the other way, and there you can see the bubbles of the green starting to form. Go. And there is our third one done. Alright, guys, so this is our final one. So I'm going to use this container. That's some of the white in. Add the blue. Sorry about the background noises. I'm doing it outside. Alright, guys, sorry I cut off again. It's just because it's like so hot out when it says temperature warning. I'm gonna do our last one. So, here's the container. So, we're gonna add in our white paint. Alright, guys, so here is our paint. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So, our final one, so our fifth one. So, three, two, one. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Just kind of splatter some of that paint there, get some cells in there. Now we're going to go ahead and move it. Mm -hmm. As you guys can see, it's so messy. But this yellow in there looks so cool. Alright, let's get the final corners. Alright, I'm going to go fast with my finger just to get the final corners. Side's done. Flip it around. Put this in here. Go get that corner. And then that back here. And we are done. So that is our final fifth one. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video or when I go live. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Again, I'm DSP.